Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. We wanted to do kind of a, kind of a fun check-in with everyone, getting to know you, a little no, silly, gonna do my you're going to do your twirls, and a little silly game. So we want to start first with a little getting to know you. I'm going to ask each of you to introduce yourself and just where you're from, a little bit about yourself, and try to include one fun fact. Let's start with Amanda, who is that adorable furry friend. Uh, this is Cooper, uh, my baby. Oh. Keeping me company. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a pre-K teacher. I used to ballroom dance. Uh, you guys, get ready for that. I was going to say juggle, but I guess ballroom <laughs> dancing is really cool. Okay, so Lori, where are you right now? Uh, I am in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I'm Lori Smith. I'm a 6 through 12 band director. Ooh. I used to play the flute. I don't want to brag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teaching myself how to play guitar because I don't know how to do that. So. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, and Cynthia? Hi. Um, well, I'm Cynthia. I live in Toronto, but I'm originally from Mexico. I love baking, but I've been doing keto for like a year and a half, so I'm trying to figure keto baking out. It's not been successful, but it's kind of been like my fun thing. I love, so I've been doing, um, I do, we live a little paleo-ish, but I've gotten obsessed with baking, and I have this one cookbook that's all baking, and I just sub I out one. The baker. You love baking with me. And um, it's all keto and paleo desserts, so I actually need to recommend that to you. Oh, yeah. That's, that would be that's great. All we've, it's all we've been making here. It's been baking. What do, what do we bake, Alec? We bake we pumpkin? Bake, we bake pumpkin stones. Pumpkin stones? And cookies. A lot of cookies. Oh, I love cookies. Yeah. Mama's got a tooth. So. But Terry, you and your uh, five friends behind your head. I live in Nashville, and um, so we went from, you know, tornado to corona <laughs> pretty quickly. Um, so I've been quarantined since March 11th. Well, can you guys all tell me a little bit? You all reached out to me, which I was, I, um, I had said the other day, Sandra. oh, this is Sandra. Say hi to our friends. Say hi, friends. <laughs> Sandra, look at Sandra. Say, hi. Hi. <laughs> so you guys all reached out to me and I was, I was completely moved because um, I had uh, said something the other day on The View because I know a lot of people that are by themselves, including my own brother. And um, I, I battled anxiety and depression in the past. So if, I, if this had happened during a time where I was by myself, I know it's the perfect storm for feeling very isolated and not well. You guys each reached out to me and your messages really touched my heart. So I just wanted to hear a little bit uh, about how, how this quarantining has been for each of you. I mean, when I got your message, I was just at that point, which I'm gonna cry right now. You can cry. Um, I'm a crier, and I'll join you. <laughs> I uh, I do a pretty good, but then there's sometimes in the evenings, or especially weekends, where you just are like, "How did I end up like this?" Like, I have great family and, and friends, but I I I live alone. I, you know, I'm alone. And then when this pandemic happens, you're like, I don't know. It's just very lonely and isolating. I struggle from anxiety as well, and I'll just cry. I just have cried so much, and. You know, you want to reach out to your friends, but you don't always want it to be because you're crying. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I do a lot of the, the house party app and stuff. Um, but I don't know. Something about right at the moment when I read that on your Instagram, I thought, wow, she gets it. And I'm, it's exactly how I'm feeling. And I was just bawling. And um, I don't know. It's just a lonely place to be during this kind of time. So... Well, I know that sometimes when I've been um, on my own or alone, that sometimes the, the time you need people the most is the last time you want to talk to anyone. So yeah. most of my family and friends know if, if it gets quiet on my end is probably when someone needs to reach out to me the most. So I totally understand what you're saying. Um, how about everyone else? Yeah, it's been the same kind of way here. I'm, I'm just so used to seeing my kids all the time. Um, because teaching band, I've, te I've taught those kids that are seniors since they were in sixth grade. So I know them and know their families really well. And it's just, it's tough not seeing them. It's kind of the same thing that Terry said. It's just like random times I'll be okay. And then like, I'll watch a movie. Like I watched Onward um, that came oh. up again and sobbed at the end of it. And yeah. the other thing, people talk a little bit about how after this, we may never return to the same interactions. And 
I, I could probably give up a handshake, although I've always felt it's a great first impression, but the thought of not hugging people when I meet them and see yeah. them actually makes, it kind of triggers a little anxiety in me that I don't know how to greet someone without that embrace to kind of tell someone who you are right from the get-go. So that human touch is so important right now, I think. So in my case, um, also too, when I saw your message, I was actually watching the show and then I rewatched the video on YouTube and then I saw when you posted it and it just like hit me really hard because I have been crying for like a couple of days already. Like I just needed a hug and like I have never felt like that. So it really hit me when you when you said it. And the, the perfect storm for people that deal with any, uh, you know, again, anxiety, depression is to let us be in our own heads. <laughs> And yeah. what is the best way to be in your own head than be at home by yourself with no distraction? And that is when everything sets off. Are you guys doing anything? Is there anything that distracts you? I know some, uh, you mentioned Onward, that you've watched Onward. Is anyone else doing anything? Guitar lessons, um, what else distracts you? I'm, I'm actually getting my second master's, so that's pretty distracting right now too. <laughs> So we've got an overachiever in Lori. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> I've been trying to clean you know, declutter and clean some things out, yeah. but I, I lose motivation very quickly. Well, um, I wanted to do this this may or may not work because I was trying to think of something fun. I've been dying to play a game and keep trying to beg my husband to play with me. So we're gonna play charades. So I'm gonna act out 10 different things. You scream out the answer, and as soon as we get it, I'm gonna move on. Zombie. Pregnancy? Oh, T-Rex. 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 Dinosaur. Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, and this one. Okay. Oh, I don't know how that's called. <laughs> Ice cream eating. Pancake. I don't know, the little pain with the ball thingy, but I don't uh, know. Yes. Oh, pancakes? Uh -oh. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Riding a horse. Ride a horse. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. This looks good. Macarena. Macarena. Um, <laughs> Y'all are fast. Okay. My oh, Panama. Pan, Panama. Whatever. Um, okay. <laughs> Taking pictures. Taking pictures. Photographer. Yeah. Yep. Airplane. Flying. Flying. Skiing. <laughs> Uh, okay, and selfie. selfie. Taking selfies. How sad is that that you guys got that one? Okay, <laughs> and last. Okay. <laughs> Yoga. Yoga. Ballerina. 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 Ballet. Ballet. Yay! Okay. We are going to keep in touch. We're going to make our own little unique community to keep us connected, and we're going to have other people join us in time. Um, but we want to make a group where we can share things, whether uh, you can share a bad day, a good day, something you're reading, something that caught your attention, whatever it is. Um, we just want you guys to know that uh, we see you. I'm thinking about all of you. I have been there. I know how it feels. And so uh, I just want you to know that I care and we can do this again. I know you guys loved it so much. <laughs> I did. Thank you so yeah, much for just reaching out. That's amazing. Like that. when you wrote to me, it got me emotional. So this is my socially distanced love to you. Thank you, Amanda, Lori, Cynthia, Terry, for joining me and sharing your feelings. And we're going to start this group and it's going to grow like an avalanche because I know we're not alone. Thank you, Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. much. Nice to meet all you guys. Thank you. So nice to meet all of you too.